going on everyone? Welcome back to I Am an Elvis Aaron Presley Fan, where in today's video I'm going to be giving you the rundown of the new Elvis On Tour release. Elvis On Tour celebrates the 50th anniversary, if you can believe it, of Elvis's monumental 1972 concert trek, which was released into a feature film called Elvis On Tour. The six CD plus one Blu-ray box set is comprised of audio from four of the shows and two of the rehearsals that were part of Elvis's 1972 North American tour. Originally recorded for the Elvis on Tour concert film that was released later that year in 1972, the set features a total of 145 different tracks, including 91 tracks that have been previously unreleased, as well as the award-winning concert film on Blu-ray. I believe this is the first time that this is actually going to be to be released on Blu-ray rather than just iTunes digital medium and the regular DVD format. The box set is produced by Ernest Michael Jorgensen and is mixed by Grammy Award winning Memphis based producer Matt Ross Spang. The original recordings were made by Felton Jarvis and Al Pachuki. Disc 1 was recorded live on April 9, 1972 at Hampton Roads Coliseum, Hampton, Virginia and contains all previously unreleased material. So this is going to be a full soundboard from the show, completely remastered and reproduced. So far, the three tracks that they've released have been amazing, and maybe we'll do standalone videos on those as well. Disc 2 was recorded April 10th, 1972 at Richmond Coliseum in Richmond, Virginia, and also contains all previously unreleased material. Disc 3 was recorded April 14, 1972 at Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. In all previously released un and all previously unreleased material. Disc 4 was recorded on April 18, 1972 at the Convention Center Arena in San Antonio, Texas and includes previously released material from 2003 the Elvis close-up box set remixes for this release. Disc 5 features the tour rehearsals recorded live at RCA Studios in Hollywood, California, where Elvis did these rehearsals on March 30th and 31st of 1972. The disc is comprised primarily of previously unreleased tracks in addition to performances previously available only on the official Elvis Presley Collector's release, Elvis on Tour, the rehearsals, which was a Follow That Dream release from 2004 on the CD medium and 6360 Sunset Boulevard, which was a release from 2001, so 21 years ago, as well as the great performances that was released on RCA in 1990. So most of us, this will be the first time we're hearing all of these. Disc 6, however, the final disc, completes Elvis' rehearsals with his band at RCA Recording Studios with performances that were recorded March 31st, 1972. The disc includes previously unreleased take of Chris Christopherson's For the Good Times, as well as performances previously available only on the 6363 Sunset Boulevard, Elvis on Tour, The Rehearsals, and Amazing Grace that was released in 1994 on a two-CD format. So likely this is going to be the first time a lot of us are going to be hearing all of these tracks. But I just wanted to give you guys that update on what this box set is actually going to be including. Personally, I am very excited for it. I will be releasing I will be listening to it rather when it is released on the um, iTunes media with my AirPods given the fact that they have that spatial audio that does a recognized in-ear monitor to give you the best overall sound for it. Currently everything else that they've released and re-released and reproduced and remastered on the Elvis medium, especially from Elvis in Nashville, sound immaculate, so I expect this to be no different. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to take care of business and God bless you.